What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going in the video today, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And if you want to have me hop on the panel or if you want to collaborate, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. You can also reach me... Um, you can also reach me, as I said, on my email for a breakdown or a prediction video. I just gave y'all that. But let's get it popping, bro. We got a good one, man. It's Jerome Boots in his beats Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. According to Lou DeBella. Do I agree? Do I disagree? Where does Jerome Boots in his rank after his last opponent? We talking Jerome Boots in his today. Before I do, though, live show. Every single Wednesday night. 7.30 p.m. Central Time. This Wednesday night is going to be a special edition. We're doing a breakdown and prediction of Canelo Alvarez versus Caleb Plant live, bro. It's going to be a live prediction show. We're going to get into everything, bro. We're going to get into everything. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a fun, fun, fun show on Wednesday night. So y'all come through. We're going to be talking boxing, bro. Um, What else we got? Live show on Sundays, too. 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Me, your boy, Knockout. Singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network. We go live together every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So y'all be sure to come through, especially this Sunday. We'll be right here on my channel after the big fight this weekend. So y'all come check us out, man. We're going to be doing good work over there. But let's get to this video. Jerome Boots in his beats everybody, according to Lou DeBella, bro. That's what he said. He beats Earl Spence and he beats... Terrence Crawford. Now, I ain't new to this, this train of thought. I did a video the day after Boots in his walk through Sergey Lipinets. And I said, shit, I probably pick him to beat everybody at, at welterweight, not named Earl Spence right now. His performance against Thomas Delorme on Saturday night did nothing to change my mind. It did nothing to change my mind. Look, man, the kid is the goods, bro. And I'm he, the young man, cause he's a young man. The young man is the is the goods, bro. He just is like he can take a shot. That's what I learned. Like I learned from Sergey Lipinets and Thomas Delorme, he ain't chinny. Now, can he take a power shot from a power puncher, elite fighter? Can he take the work rate of Earl Spence and push him back and outwork him? Can he take the timing and the speed and the power of Terrence Crawford? How does Boots in his look against similar athletes with a similar level of skill set? Because I don't know if I can say anybody like just way more skilled than him, but it's guys that have that are on par. And it's, I can't say that anybody's more athletic at 147 than Jerome Boots in his. But it's guys that are on par. Like, right now where he's at in his career, bro, he's overwhelming dudes with his athleticism and his skills and shit. Like, he overwhelmed Thomas Delorme. He ain't going to overwhelm uh, Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence. He won't overwhelm them. Could he possibly be more athletic? Yeah. But those guys can make adjustments. Those guys are dogs. Those guys can fight. You know what I'm saying? And Jerron Boutin is proving he can fight, fight, too. But does he beat them? Is the question we attempted to answer. I think he can. I think he can. Here's where I'm at with Boots in this, bro. I know he can take a solid shot. I know he ain't chinning. I know it ain't no Jason Rosario, Erickson, Lubin type shit going on. You know, I know that's not the case with him. But what I don't know is when you ain't just going to overwhelm dudes. Because he just overwhelming dudes right now, bro. When you're not going to overwhelm dudes, what kind of adjustment can you make? When you fire off and they punishing you back, can you take that type of heat? Can you take that type of pressure? I believe he can, but I'm not ready to just say definitively that he beats these guys. Now, if I'm doing a breakdown in a prediction video and I'm looking skill for skill, and I'm looking how the fight could potentially go, it's still like it's hard to pick somebody to beat this young man, bro. His combination of 
strength, speed, and athleticism, bro. He's like, he's like the LeBron. Y'all see the title, bro. He's like the LeBron James of boxing, bro. When LeBron James came into the league. Saying the same shit about Boosh from a boxing perspective. Man, we ain't seen nobody this big, this fast, this powerful. Able to switch so fluidly. Got everything that you could possibly want. All we need to know is do we got a chin. Same thing with LeBron James. We ain't never seen nobody this big, this fast, this strong. They can pass like this. They can score on the inside like this. The only question we got about LeBron, can he shoot? Can he shoot a jumper? If he's if he's able to prove that he can make a jump shot, then LeBron James would be the greatest one of the greatest basketball players that's ever played, and he proved that he can make a jump shot consistently enough to where he became one of the greatest basketball players that ever played. Same thing with Jerron Boots in this. Shit, he got power, he got speed, he got versatility on defense. His feet phenomenal. His fighting instincts and reflexes phenomenal. Can he take a shot? Can he take a shot from a power puncher? How is his chin? If the answer to that question, and it's look like Thomas DeLore may land a nice ass overhand right on him. If the answer to that question is, yeah, bro, he can take a shot too. If that becomes the answer to that question, bro, Jerron Boots in this will be an all-time great fam. Because skill for skill, you name them, bro. Tell me right now in the comments. Skill for skill. Don't give me experience. Don't give me resume. And y'all know I'm man down Earl the true Spence all day. But skill for skill. Tell me who's better from a skill perspective and a talent perspective right now in the welterweight division. Tell me who's better than Jerome Boutinus right now. You can name me guys that are more proven. You can name me guys with better accomplishments. Yes, you can name all that shit. But who can you name me that's more skilled and more talented, bro? So, do I agree with Lou DeBella that he just beats Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not ready to say, yeah, bro, he gonna beat the shit out of them. He gonna, he'll beat the shit out of both of them. I, I can't say that. What I say, and this is a huge compliment, when you look at Jerron Boutinus' resume and you see that his best names are Thomas DeLorme and Sergey Lipinets, to have that type of resume and me be an analytical thinker and really try to look at this shit and give y'all objective analysis, bro, for me to still look into this camera and tell y'all, yeah, bro, them 50-50 fights. Them close-ass fights. I could definitely see Jerron Boutinus winning those fights. Yep, I could see it. For me to say that to y'all, bro, that's how highly I think of him, bro. To be willing to tell y'all somebody that's inexperienced, that ain't fought no champions, that ain't been on that level yet, to tell y'all, look, I don't care about none of that. He shit. With his skill level and his power and the way that he can fight, bro. Yeah, that's the, um, them 50-50 fights. They close-ass fights. And guess what? Them the only two I call 50-50. I'll go so far as to say, man, Jerome Boots in his washes Keith Thurman, bro. Washes him. What's another top name? Danny Garcia. Jerron Boots Ennis walks through Danny Garcia and beats him worse than Spence because of the styles, bro. And because of where Spence was coming off of that car wreck, coming off of that accident and shit. Now, this Spence that's about to come back working with Blu-ray and his strength and conditioning and shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. And his relentlessness and his work rate. Yeah. Yeah, big fish man down. What's up? You know what I'm saying? That's cool. But when you look at it, I'm not trying to hear all of that in terms of like what he what he went through and all that. He beat Danny Garcia worse than anybody ever beat him. Did Earl Spence. Jerron Boots in his does his ass worse. Does him worse, bro. What's another fight? Another top fighter, bro. Yudinis Ugas, super WBA champion. Jerron Boots in his Beats the dumb shit out of him now. I believe Earl Spence beats the dumb shit out of him too. But y'all get my point, bro. I hold the young man in that high regard already. Now go prove me right, young bull. <laughs> go prove me right. Now, he beat Thomas DeLorme worse than Terrence Crawford did. But Terrence Crawford beat Thomas DeLorme when Thomas DeLorme was still considered a higher level fighter. 
But this is what I want to see from Jerron Boots Anderson. I said it with KQKC Boxing Network this past Sunday morning. You got a first round knockout. That was an easy ass fight. I hope he's pushing his team for him to hurry up and get another fight in in December, bro. Showtime should have some cards. I believe they got a um, they gonna have a Tank Davis card coming up December fifth. I feel like that's a great, a great opportunity to try to get an opponent for Jerron Boots in this, bro. I think that's a great opportunity, bro. He need to fight again in this year. It's, he need to stay active, bro. He need to build on this momentum. And I'm sorry, bro, when fighters aren't in tough fights, when you have a fight, you have a whole training camp, and your fight is only a minute and a half, and you basically walk through the guy, bro, you need to hurry up and get back in the ring, bro. That's one thing I say about top rank versus, like, the PBC. Top rank, they they um, prospects and shit, they fighting, fam. They fighting all the time. Xander Zaya is about to fight again next month. He just fought last week. Jerry B. Baby Anderson about to fight again, bro. He just fought. He just fought on Wilder and Fury card, bro. He about to fight again in December. Both Jared Anderson and Xander Zayas is on this Lomachenko undercard, bro. That's coming up December 11th against Comey. That's gonna be a fire ass card. Can't wait for that one. Boxing lit. So if you Jerron Boots in this, bro, you need to be following suit. I don't. I don't. I don't want to see you, bro, not fighting till like March or April of next year for what, bro? For what? Get you another one in. That shit went a minute and a half, bro. Your fight went a minute and a half, bro. Get in there and get busy, bro. Because I think he'll be even better. Like, you already in fight shape. Get a fight made. Come back in December and do work, bro. That's what I want to see. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts on Jerron Boots and his outstanding performance. Outstanding performance. Did his thing. You know what I mean? Did what he was supposed to do to Thomas Delorme. He got people saying he beat the best in the division. He calling out the best in the division. I love the attitude. I love that he want the smoke. I love that he believe in himself unapologetically, bro. And I, I, I'm i rocking with him. I'm rocking with that. Now, will I pick him to beat those guys? I don't know. I say he can. But if you want to know if I think he'll beat them, then please make these fights so we can do predictions on them, bro. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts on the young man. I think he's an outstanding um you know, young up and coming fighter, man. And my for my money right now, I can't name a person under 25 years old that's better than him. I really like a lot of fighters under that age. I love um I like David Benavidez. I like um I like Jesse Bam Rodriguez. Um I like Gary Antoine Russell for show. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I like Keyshawn Davis. I like a lot of young up and coming fighters, bro. But Jerron Boutinus is it for me. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts. Comment down below. Smash the like. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. I appreciate y'all watching. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.